So hello, good uh, morning to everyone. So this is our first uh, Zoom meeting as well as our discussion for the subject bus one. Okay, class. So I pre-recorded this video so that you'll be able to replay it anytime. No, so I will upload this video in our Edmodo and in my YouTube account. No, class, because. This is a distance learning, so uh, you know, encourage not that the students will learn no, or study at their own pace. So without further ado, class, let's start our discussion. So I will share my screen to you, class. So our first uh, we'll discuss. So again, this is the subject, Good Governance and Social Responsibility, and I am your professor, Professor Vernex R. Gamalon. okay? So for week one to three, so week one to three, we are supposed to discuss the two YOLO. So we have YOLO A, identify the fundamental principles of corporate governance and the implication of government regulations and then you will be understand and explain the organizations and its political structural and economic environment so we have to finish the two discussion at the end of week three you know before we have our exam so you look a so we'll start with defining uh, what is a corporation so um, this is a very uh, a common term in business and management. You know, so what is a corporation? So according to the Corporate Code of the Philippines, a corporation is an artificial being. So it is not a uh, person you know, with uh, physical na, na, mm, na characteristics. You know? But it is a artificial person, separate and distinct. Okay? which is created by the operation of law. So, with uh, the, si law, no? ang, ang ating batas, ang naga uh, si sa existence ni corporation, no? having the right of succession and the powers, attributes, and properties expressly authorized by law, no, yes, ang ating batas, or incident to its existence. So, let us understand its attributes one by one. So, what are the attributes, no, so basing on the definition. So, number one is an artificial being. So, it is a fiction of law. Dili siya, um, e, dili siya, uh, it, wala siya physical, no, na attributes. So, it is a judicial person, okay? whose personality is separate and distinct from its owner. Okay, so lahi siya. For example, ABS-CBN Corporation. Okay, ABS-CBN Corporation is separate from its owners like Lopez. Okay, so uh, separate siya. Si ABS-CBN Corporation itself from its owners. or I mean, not owners, the shareholders, principal shareholders. Created by the operation of law, so will come into existence, no, through the charter or grant. Yes, charter, for uh, charters of incorporation. So, uh, na create siya, you know, basing on the charter, no, by its incorporators, and then granted by the state, granted by the government, by the law. Okay, pwede po siya tanggalon, no, so the the government, the law, has the right to remove its existence. So just like what happened to ABS-CBN, oh, possible, yes. Franchise lang to na wala class, pero si ABS-CBN as a corporation can cease to operate when the government or the law uh, ka nang decides no decide na tanggalo ng iyang existence okay right of succession si corporation no can continue despite of the dead no 
uh, or incapacity or insolvency of any stockholder or member. So stockholders are part or a member or parts of the incorporators ba or the owners no of the corporation. Pwede nga po magsis to exist si corporation. Okay? Kahit mamatay uh, or there's death or no or insolvency or incapacity of its stockholders then powers and attributes prop and properties so pwede ka ma mag-exist na kay sarili nimo powers as a sarili attribute nimo properties no depending on the uh, purpose of its existence okay so mo to siya yan definition di ba artificial being created by the operation of law right of succession powers attributes and properties okay so that is corporation so who are our stakeholders so when we say stakeholders this is the person that are affected you no know, by the uh, corporation get lang pa sa okay so stakeholders class are the persons who are affected by the uh, corporation one way or another okay so number one we have management so the party given the authority to implement policies and determined by the board of their uh, board of directors no mm -hmm. they are the decision makers so the board of directors class is separate from the management. See, management class are hired by the board of directors, but it is possible then class that the, the uh, one of the one or some of the boards are part of also of the management. Okay, so see, management class are the uh, group of people who are uh, kind of responsible for carrying out the plans no ni corporation okay so they are determined by the board of directors so si board directors ang mag hire sa ila ha no so si board and director ang mag uh, assign sa ila ha creditor so these are the persons who lend to the group or to the corporation so uh, borrow no pwede good service or money no, in case of liquidation, creditors are given the first priority of payment. So, for example, ma liquidate na ang corporation, si creditor ang pinakauna bayaran. Ang mabili, diha patunga unsa or i divide to its uh, mga um, call that stockholders. Okay, so si creditors and then shareholders so, or shareholders or stockholders they are the same so they are the people who invest their capital in the corporation shareholders are part owner of the entity so you are a part owner of the entity or the corporation if you are a shareholder for example you are a shareholder of you buy share you brought ch shares from Jollibee Oh, diba? So you are also part owner of Jollibee, okay? Because your own money, your own capital are invested because you believe in the purposes of that corporation. Yan. Employees. So employees are the people no, who are, who, who contributes their uh, talent and skills. Kawai lang ka sa... their skills uh, abilities and inge uh, ingenuity to the corporation so employees are very important stakeholders because they carry out you no know, together with the management they perform the day-to-day -day operations Ganyan. clients clients are your customers so they are very they are the very reason of existence. So, customers or buyer of your product. Without the client, the corporation will not cease to exist. No, it will um, uh, close ang corporation. No, because client is your reason of existence. Pag wala na yung patronize mo product, the clients, no, so 
There's no buyer. So, there's no purpose of existence, di ba? Then, government. Oh, so, has several interests. No, si government has different agencies that uh, nag-monitor or nag na nag includes or naga ano sa mga activities ni ni corporation for example we have uh, provide taxes jobs no they lessen lessen the duty and responsibility of the government so kita cor uh, i mean the corporation no you 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 pay tax you provide you contribute to the employment rate no with the existence of the corporation and responsibility of the government because there are uh, tasks no or services that cannot be extended by the government nag ini extend or gina, ina perform ni uh, ni corporation for example we have our public hospitals or public schools no so those are free no because uh, ano man siya ni government. But, dili lahat can be catered by the government. No? So, that is why there are uh, private schools like UM, no? a corporation itself. Or, uh, private hospitals. Like, for example, Tagum Doctors Hospital Incorporated. So, they are private uh, corporations no? who aims to give the same uh, uh, ano yun? service to the to the society that the government cannot give okay and then the public so when we say public the citizens you know the result of responsible or responsible conduct of corporation affects the public in so many ways okay for example environment or diseases you no know, if uh, not properly monitored so the corporation can uh any can affect the public positively or negatively like for example they can uh destroy the environment or create diseases no the in the community okay purposes of a corporation so what are the purposes of a corporation so number one so, number one, early stage survival. So, at first, the purpose of the corporation is to uh, survive in the, uh, what do you call this, in the um, industry, okay? So, you have to at least uh, survive in the industry, you know, when you are starting. So, that is your very first aim, you know, to excuse me, to aim for uh, to existence and gain momentum. Dapat mag-gain kag momentum. Okay? Number two, increase profit. So, the second purpose of the corporation, to increase profit, of course, because uh, diya man tanaga, uh, ano, uh, diya nakadepend ang success sa corporation so, or the business. Increase profit. Mm. So, you know, uh -huh. managers or executives no na, na na hire ni corporations mm -hmm. should perform to increase its profits no should operate in the interest of their stockholders no they perform they are hired so that the value no of the stocks will increase no for the uh, profit, no? Then offer vital services to the public. So, just that I've said kanina, no, it's, it's difficult for the government to offer all services to the public. And offer goods and services to the market, not only general profit, but also to provide services to the masses. Mm -mm. So, did it lang to, ano class, to offer uh, to gain profit, no, but to offer goods and services. So we have here the difference between the three shareholder, 
bondholders, and BOD. So, isa-isa na to. The shareholder class are artificial. Pwede other corporations can become a shareholder. Okay? Or natural person. So, kita. Natural persons. Ako, ikaw. No, you can become a shareholder. No? Legally regarded as owners of the corporation. So, stockholders are bestowed with special privilege depending on the class of their stockholdings. So, na I classes as uh, stockholdings. So, the rights may include suspisa. In school water class. So, the rights may include a right to vote. So, uh, election of BOD. So, sa corporation mongol class, um, um, the board of directors are elected. Okay? So, mostly class, kung kinsa itong pinakadako shareholder, I mean, shares mo, ito um, ang maging BOD. Because sa corporation mongol class, the higher are the shares, the higher are the votes. No? Unlike with cooperatives that uh, one person has the has one right, regardless of pila ang imal share capital. Okay. The right to propose shareholder resolution. Yes, so you have the rights. To create, uh, to provide, to propose resolutions. Okay, na pwede din mo i-change sa corporation. The right to receive dividends. So, dividends class are the profit na tunga-tungaon ninyo. So, nag-invest ka, of course, you expect something in return. Okay? You have the right to receive dividends. Preemption right or the right to purchase new shares. So, for example, there are opening of shares na in a uh, ibalik ya, no? So, before siya i-post to the public, uh, you have the right, being the shareholder, to purchase new share first before it will be posted to the public, open to the public. Okay? The right to liquidate dividend. Yes, so, when the time comes that, for example, the corporation will be my liquidate, no, no mentioned that earlier. So the shareholder has the right to receive dividend, but first, of course, the creditor will be the first to be paid before C shareholder. Next is band holder. So these are the persons or entity that is a holder of currently outstanding bond. A bond class is a certificate of indebtedness. So, the holder has complete authority to manage that bond in a way that is advantageous to him. Mm -hmm. We also have share up. Sa ano is BOD or board of directors. So they are the collegial body that exercises the corporate powers of all corporation form. So they have the highest authority in the corporation. So they are, again, they are voted among the shareholders. So they uh, control, conduct the business and hold all the assets of the corporation. So their duties includes Governing the organization, so you ha they are the ones who are expected to establish its policies, objectives, no? And then, select, appoint, support, review, perform as the chief executives, the chief executives or the management, okay? Ensure the availability of adequate financial resources, so, sila ang mag-check on a class. Survival, ensure that the corporation is financially healthy. Yes. And make funds available for operation. Approving annual budgets 
established for the purpose of organization program and plans into financial terms. So, sila ang mag-approve sa mga budgets of different departments. Accounting to the stakeholders, organization's performance. So, inform stakeholders the accomplishment. So, they are also the one responsible that the uh, shareholders or stakeholders are uh, given the information about the accomplishment plans, no? The audited financial statement. So, we have the two corporations, multinational and transnational corporations. <clears throat> these are, so, different sila corporations, but these are both international corporations. <clears throat> That have several categories depending on the business structure, investment and product services, services offering. So, <coughs> multinational corporations, so, or what we call MNC, have investment in other countries, but do not have uh, coordinated product offerings in each country. So, uh, they are more focused on adapting their products and service in each local market. For example, we have Unilever, Procter & Gamble, Nocturna, 7-Eleven. So, MNC class have investment in different countries, but they adapt on what is uh, applicable in the local market. For example, we have McDonald's. So, McDonald's offers um, food you know, that is uh, suitable for Filipino um, consumers, same as in the U.S. So, McDonald's adapts to uh, what is most applicable for the American consumers, diba? So, other countries sa McDonald's nag offer sila og beers. You know, so Philippines, we don't have beers in McDonald's, right? So, ganyan, MNC. Transnational Corporation, or TNCs, are enterprises which own or control production or service facilities outside the country. Yes. And they have global headquarters. But the decision-making are, are given to various national headquarters. Example, are Shell. Accenture, Deloitte, and Roach. Okay, so, ganyan, TNC. And then, corporate governance. The definition, what is the definition of corporate governance? So, the definition of corporate governance are the following. Number one, process and structure used to direct and manage the business and affairs. Yes, of the company towards enhancing business prosperity and product accountability. Okay lang class, ha? Okay, si corporate governance class, uh, so the good governance helps the company to operate more effectively, mitigate risk, and safeguard against mismanagement and improve access to capital that will fuel their growth. <coughs> okay, and then good governance contribute to development. Better stakeholder relationship 
help companies address environmental protection, social, and labor issues. In short, good governance is the process of running the corporation, which the management consider as ethical and most beneficial to its stakeholders. Okay.